Almost got the gong. <laughs> I'll try it again in a little bit. All right, we've got the Remington V3 TAC-13 semi-automatic 12-gauge non-NFA uh, shotgun. Now, I know that based on some of the classifications, it's not technically a shotgun, all that kind of stuff. You know, all that's technical. I'm going to call it what it looks like. Uh, slang, right? I'm going to use slang terms to, to refer to it. So I don't look like an idiot for calling it a, an other or whatever uh, it's officially called. But uh, if, you're, you've, if you've been around guns for a little while now, the past few uh, years, you're aware that this is something that's been happening, like with the Mossberg Shockwave. And uh, now we have a semi-automatic Remington version. Uh, but first, before we talk some more about uh, let's load this thing up again. So, um, the appeal, obviously, um, and I probably don't have to tell most of you this, of these uh, shotguns is it's non-NFA. So you can buy it, you know, over the counter um, at a gun shop. And it has, this one has a 13-inch barrel. So it's, it's pretty neat. Now, the criticism of these shotguns is that they aren't actually any shorter than um, a standard 18-inch barrel shotgun with a pistol grip because you know to meet the requirements of overall length you have to have these uh, Raptor grips you know style grips on here uh, that makes it longer but my my big kind of rebuttal to that is that I prefer this type of grip to the to the you know 90 degree angle grip because they're so much more comfortable to shoot and I discovered that many years ago when I was pretty young actually dad had a uh, a regular 18 inch barrel Mossberg and it had a grip that was kind of like this but it was essentially someone had taken a wooden stock and then just carved it down to where you just had that kind of that you know on a, a regular wooden stock shotgun there's that kind of pistol grip you know in there with the stock attached so that part had just been ground off you had something like this but a little bit shorter and I was kind of blown away by how you could just shoot it and it, and it didn't hurt your wrist so bad uh, like the true pistol grip shotguns so i prefer that type of grip so for me and what i would prefer it is shorter uh because if i didn't have this i'd want you know this type of grip on an 18 inch barrel so it, it is actually um a shorter gun because i hate those 90 degree angle uh pistol grips um so yeah let's load it up and shoot it some more and see what it will do holds five rounds and uh it's it's pretty neat i'm gonna put some bird shot in to have one of these in semi-automatic because that's yeah, cool it's another option um, and also being a small little gun it's um, I don't know maybe not always the easiest thing to manipulate it's a 12 gauge it's big and powerful um, and there's something kind of nice about with well, this one you pull the trigger you know you don't have to to work the action hence the name semi-automatic <laughs> Not fully automatic, semi-automatic. But now that would be a handful, wouldn't it? If we had this in full auto. Just five rounds though. Well, six, I guess, technically, with one in the tube. Uh, one of my favorite things to do with this is to shoot it one-handed. So, <laughs> we do that. All right, here we go. It's pretty heavy, uh, but it's not terrible. A little harder to hit with, but a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's do that again. You gotta kind of find a, a sweet spot if you're gonna shoot it one-handed, because if your arm is too stiff, uh, you're gonna feel a lot, a, a lot of that recoil. So you gotta kind of bend your elbow. I didn't quite do it as well as I could have there. Okay, let's try it again. I'll hold it more like this. There we go. Not too bad. <laughs> um, also, before I load it up, I'm gonna put some uh, slugs back in it and see if I can hit the gong. But before I do that, also, of course, huge thanks to Atmex.com, American Precious Metals Exchange. Um, you guys know I love metal, and it's a really cool place where you can uh, find a wide selection of all different types of, you know, uh, just gold and silver bullion or copper, 
uh, old coins, new coins, collectible coins, you know, everything. So check them out at mex.com. All right, let's put some slugs in there. Where are my slugs? There they are. Oh, that one's empty. Okay. Another box. And, um, you know, it seems to me, you know what? Before I start talking about something, or guessing about something that I could easily test, let's do an experiment. Let's put two slugs in here and put two slugs in this. Okay. Now I'm going to shoot both of these and decide which uh, one has more recoil. As I was about to say, the advantage of semi-automatic, and of course this one's gas operated, um, is you get less felt recoil, which I think is going to be the case, but let's try it out and see. Alright. Uh, let's see, I'm going to shoot the paper target, why not? Huge difference, pretty big difference. Uh, this has a lot more recoil. Um, I think it's a little, probably the Remington's a little bit heavier, but it's a lot of it is, is, is being semi-automatic. Big difference, <laughs> you can see I jerked that first one, I wasn't ready for the, the trigger is a little different on this thing. Um, so on, on this thing, um, one thing that's interesting about it, so a lot of people have wondered why there's not a, a Mossberg version, why they didn't take the 930 and cut it down. And I was reading that part of that is because the spring system doesn't allow allow them to do that. Whereas the V3 Remington uh, semi-automatic shotgun, the spring system, the recoil springs are all contained in, in the receiver. So they're able to cut it down and, and put a pistol grip on it. And they, have, they can't do that with the 930. So I don't know if they'll redesign it or they'll do it with something different or, or whatever. But that's one reason you have this and there's not the Mossberg um, equivalent. And uh, this also has the uh, the V3 self um, adjusting gas system and all that kind of stuff, self regulating. All right, let's put a bunch of slugs in here and go after the gong. Just want to shoot this thing a ton and kind of show you guys how it works. There's also the other issue with um, any Remington. Any time you have a Remington or a Marlin or what else, a Bushmaster, you have to be aware of the whole Freedom Group thing. I've talked about it a million times. I'm always skeptical of the uh, quality control of um, you know, firearms produced under, under that name. But, you know, let's see. This is a really cool gun, so we'll see if it's reliable. I hope it is, because I really like it. All right, let's uh, shoot the gong. So I found, I was shooting it earlier in the, before the video, and I found that I gotta kinda hold a little bit under it and also not hit myself in the nose those are the two goals here okay pretty close I think I can't tell where it's going now Huh. I think it might be, let me try it, let me try it one more time. It might be pulling, might be pulling it just a little bit to the left. I hit it a few times before. Right. The cameraman is telling me that I'm going high. So, that's one of the things that's hard about now, obviously, this is not what this thing is designed for. Um, it's uh, it's a little difficult to aim. You just have the front bead sight, and you've got to hold it kind of awkwardly. But it's fun to try. It's a lot of fun to try. Okay, let's bring it down. Yeah. 
You know what? I think I just put double hot buck in there. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Well, that's definitely not going to do it. All right, let's shoot this two liter. Okay, now let's put some slugs in. I thought all these red boxes were slugs. Okay, here we go. All right, four shots. If I can't hit it in these four, then I will I'll quit or give up. At least for the video. Maybe after the video, I'll try it again. All right. Oh, I saw that one just barely low left. All right. Well, there we go. I finally hit it. Two out of four on that one. So I figured out where to hold. Yeah, I, I guess I uh, didn't realize how lo incredibly low I had to hold it. I mean, I was I was holding almost halfway between the gong and the ram up there. So it's pretty low, but it it'll do it, you know. Okay, so one uh, other thing I want to want to test is. Um, is how this thing functions reliably considering you don't have a shoulder stock um, on this thing it, it doesn't have that you know the back pressure that you would have on a normal shotgun so I want to fire a few shots kind of holding it loosely like basically trying to limp wrist it and see how it does That's well, pretty smooth. Okay. All right. Um, not gonna like really aim at anything, so you get a good shot of this. So basically, I'm gonna almost act like I'm gonna bump fire it. I'm just gonna kind of hold it like this and very, very loosely fire it, and we'll see how it functions. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Alright, now let's just shoot up some stuff. This thing is so much fun to shoot one-handed. I gotta do that again. Not too easy to hit a lot of stuff, but it sure is fun. Okay, let's, uh, where's some hot stuff? Everything's empty. Let's put these in. Deep penetrator, rifled slug. So we gotta take out that watermelon. And those two liters up there. Can't let them get away. Okay. Go ahead and take this watermelon down. Took him out pretty good. All right, orange two liters. I was trying to do that. I was. Uh, I saw that turkey back there. Whatever I just hit, and I was like, I, I think I'll shoot that first. Put something uh, with a little little spread on the, in there. It's actually not super easy to hit stuff with slugs in this thing. It's doable, but you just don't have a great uh, reference on the site. There we go. Up. Oh, look at that. Stayed up there. Okay. 
I mean, these things are pretty, uh, pretty easy to, to, to use, you know. Um, I'm a fan of them. I mean, some people really don't like them, but I think they have a, a practical, practical purpose. And I, I have to be honest, I like, I like this uh, type of shotgun in um, semi-automatic actually better. Um, it's just the issue of, is it going to be reliable? Do you trust Remington um, in this day and age? But, you know, like if, if Mossberg had one, I would probably, you know, trust it more just because uh, I trust Mossberg more than Remington at this point. But I, I, this is fun, man. I, I really like this. This is a cool, this is a cool gun. It's a lot of fun, and and to me, I can see it having some actual real self-defense uh, applications. Like for example, um, I'm gonna go right to the left, and I'm gonna shoot the the cowboy, the tombstone, this like hex-looking target here. What's that? Three and then the stop sign, and then the coffin on the left. So that's five targets. I'm going to try to do it kind of fast. All right, here we go. Oh, I had six. Not good at math. <laughs> so, as you can see, it, um, it's not bad. I mean, these things aren't too hard to aim. I mean, if you're shooting a slug, Obviously, there's you know very small margin for error compared to birdshot, especially or double out buck. Um, you know, so that that's a little bit different. That's not what these are designed for. These are not slug guns. It's just kind of fun to play around with. Um, but I don't know. In, in closing, like I said, other than you know the um, reservations that I have, and I think a lot of people have about the Remington brand right now. Um, you know, I would love for them to kind of come back and prove themselves. Um, and maybe, maybe they're doing that uh, with something like this. But it's a neat, it's a neat shotgun. It's a lot of fun. And uh, enjoyed uh, showing it to you guys. And uh, I guess that's all I had to say. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, hi. Well, I've got you here. I want to let you know about some other places you can find us on the internet and talongungrips.com. So you can find us on Facebook under Hickok45, on Instagram, the real Hickok45. I also run an Instagram called John underscore Hickok45, Hickok45 on Twitter. There's also Hickok45.com, our website, where you can find information about everything that we have going on, basically, all of our supporters. Uh, you can also find our merchandise on Bunker Branding. Dot com so please check all that out when you have time and also please check out talon gun grips uh, dot com we appreciate all of their support in getting attacked by spiders i don't know if they have any products for that or not but you can get a lot of different grips for different types of handguns and rifles um, to give you different types of textures that you may want um, that they can really help you uh, grasp the pistol uh, much better so go to talongungrips.com and check everything out that they have and as always read the descriptions in these videos there's a lot of questions you may have that can be answered by the description and also check out the links that we have down there i appreciate it and uh i've got some more uh, shotgunning to do i'll see you guys later